Minas Tirith is under siege from a horde of Mordor orcs and other fell beasts. And Gondor must hold the line. They must hold and wait for the Rohirrim to arrive. They are here to aid their fellow men and kin. What's up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rise of Mordor siege view today. And yes, we are doing the heavily requested Siege of Minas Tirith. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to get around to doing it. But, uh, well, we finally got there and we're doing it. So, uh, yes, we have two Gondorian armies defending this awesome Minas Tirith map. Um, it goes up and up and up and up and you can see from all the way up here all the Mordor troops all the way down there um, And we have three Mordor armies and we have one army of Rohirrim um, We are using the Rohan sub mod today to show off uh, these Rohan units. So, I mean, I'll quickly go over some of these units um, Since we've seen most of the other units are uh, like in the mod already we heavily covered Mordor and Gondor But we have like Rindermark Lancers here which look amazing. I mean, they do look great. There's a sub mod, but uh, I can't wait till they get added to uh, the main mod, which should be coming soon in the next update, I do believe. Um, these, I'm pretty sure, are just like Sporter Scouts. Yeah, these guys, uh, they look pretty light armored, but they'll do okay. We've got uh, Eastmark Heavy Riders here. I do like these guys. I think they're one of my favorite with their uh, long swords. Um, we've then got uh, Rohan Horsemen. These are just like the basic... Like shot cavalry, you could say, um, and then we've got some. We've got some other stuff. We've got like mounted shield archers because you know there's some. Uh, there are some shield archers there, and they look awesome as well. And then um, I think we've got some royal Edoran lancers down the end. I think that's one of the final units I decided to bring. Look awesome as well. And Theoden is here. Theoden is here. I mean, he's not actually the actual unit, but uh, he is here on the battlefield. And he's uh, just getting himself adjusted, ready to start on the left-hand side. And Rohan will arrive about 10, 15 minutes after the battle uh, has started. So, yeah, I think I can't actually. I think that one's supposed to be third in there. I don't know. One of them is supposed to be third. In. But anyway, let's get on with the main battle. And uh, yes, if you haven't already, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Uh, always much appreciated. But as you can see here, Mordor is just arriving at the gate. He's got a ram ready. You know, like, if you've seen the extended edition of Lord of the Rings, this is like the tiny little ram that they send forward first before Grond has to come up, the big uh, wolf head. And, uh, yeah, these guys are getting absolutely focused down by archers. These, But they're orc rabble, so who cares? They're all, their lives don't matter. They'll literally break on anything anyway. And uh, you can see inside here, Inside they have a uh, Pelagir Marines, they have ready and they have some Gondor Spears ready. That's a formidable defense ready to defend the gates of Minas Tirith. The White City will not fall today. And they've got some more mortal rabble coming up now. Ready to get onto the ram and uh, take over from the uh, previous unit's duties. You can see there's like some poor guys down there. It's like, no, no. They've yet to arrive at the walls, I think. It's certainly on the left side. Yeah, on the right side, they're still bending their way around. They look like they're going to be... Uh, they're inviting an attack from the Rohirrim. They want to be the first hit, uh, which we're more than happy to uh, deal with. Um, but yeah, this is also a battle that was organized in the Discord. A scenario battle was organized. If you would like to join some of these scenarios and do join the Discord, the link is in the description down below, as some of the uh, Ringlow Vale Man at Arms is getting hit down here. These poor guys are... Uh, Going to be having to defend a breach that's being opened up here. Um, Orc warriors look like they're going to be the first in to the breach. Um, but yeah, this is a brutal, brutal like gate to come through. There are so many archers up here. Look at these guys. Literally just picking targets. They're just like, yes, fire, fire. There's there's some stuff down there. You can hear the ram going off. Um, I do apologize if it's ever, at points gets ever so slightly laggy. Um, this map is just huge and slightly uh, buggy and I mean we have a lot of troops here as well I mean we do have about 17 or 18,000 troops here 17 18,000 troops that's quite a lot uh, especially with this map but yes all quarries are first off the wall and they're gonna be facing some uh, militia by the looks of it uh, they should probably be okay I mean look at them they're coming off in their ones and twos like yes point 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 just drop down 
Uh, I hope that the trebuchet has been firing. I can hear another siege tower dropping. These guys also just fighting some militia. I mean, militia are the first to defend the walls because, well, why would you put up your train troops to defend the walls? The walls have fallen. Oh, there is a breach that has been made. Excellent. Well, the uh, orcs are certainly going to need that. Get some, uh, get some troops through here. Flood the area with troops. I think um, it'll be amazing when we get like trolls and we can do this. Because like a troll would just destroy this unit. Uh, because well, it's a troll, and you could basically just like they could you could send them in first through the choke point. And they'll do all the nasty stuff, break it up, and then send in some infantry as well. I mean, it looks like we've got some gondol swords as well, ready or already being mobilized. But here we go, orcs coming over. You just see their dark forms, and there you go, into the light they come, they're fighting the light. It's probably why they're uh, not feeling. They're probably not feeling so good because they're having a fight in the daytime. Sauron's not put his shadow across the uh, the plains of Pelennor to uh, darken the area. But yeah, these uh, Ringly Veil should hold for a while. They're a solid unit. It looks like uh, these Ringly Veil up here are having a hard time. I won't lie. I mean, they have to give up a fair amount of ground. I can see Pillage is getting shot at now. A shock infantry unit. Definitely want to be focusing that down with archers. No missile uh, block, really. That's a good thing with shock. They're very strong in combat, but uh, let them get shot by uh, arrows and they won't do so well. We've got Gondor infantry over here. Here we go. Some elite troops are going to be used early on. It just looks like they're waiting for the uh, towers to drop. Do they they stopped or something like that? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, they still got plenty of reserves, you can see there. Uh, plenty of reserves. But then obviously Gondor does as well. Gondor has great, massive armies ready to destroy these orcs come today. I mean, what are these guys doing? Are they looking for uh, an angle? I think they are. These Uruk archers are going to try and use the angle of this, like, hill. And try and shoot onto the wall, I presume. That's kind of smart. I like that. Orcs being smart. It's very unlike them. Very unlike them. But uh, going back to the gate, well, you can see here, I actually don't think they've destroyed the gate yet. Yeah, they're still trying to destroy this gate. There you go, they've just done it as I arrive, and now uh, the Orc rival can go in. And these Pelagian Marines are going to have to be first in. I don't know if they've been throwing jabbies or what, but uh, yeah, these guys should hold the line all right. They are a skirmish unit, but they're pretty good in like, combat. And against rabble, they'll be fine. Look at this, like the back lines are throwing their javies while the front like line hold, just fights them off. Now they're falling back to allow the... Uh... Oh, that poor guy gets killed. Oh, the first of many to be lost today, I'm sure. Yeah, now uh, the Gondor Spears will hold the line. And that's not a bad idea. Now the Pelleted Gimmery can sort of get an angle. They can do their work there. We've got lots of traps ready. They are really prepared to, uh, in case like Mordor breaks through, sort of thing. Which they might. They have, end, they have countless orcs. Because the Mordor would be wanting to get as many forces inside as possible because uh, Rohan's coming. And it's well known horses can't scale walls. So uh, if they can get most of their forces inside, they should be alright. Oh, look at that column formation there by the Pelagian Marines. That looks glorious. I mean, this mod looks glorious. And it looks like the final assault, uh, the final assault, the assault is, uh, started on this side. It's far from the final assault. Look how many more tiers there are to go before they have to get to, like, the cap one. And I think they have to go up this one, onto this, like, tier, and then onto that tier. It's a pretty nasty. I mean, there's loads of units waiting for them. We've got Gondor Sword Infantry here. We've got Pikes waiting here. We've got the Fountain Guard here on this, uh, on this choke point here. So, I mean, if they eventually do break up the first, to the first layer, they've got to get through, uh, like, Penneth Gillen. Spears are going to get through Citadel Guards, Fountain Guards. And this, look at this, look at this, glorious. That's a nice choke point. And then they've, I think they've got like more Citadel Guard up here, they're generals. Yeah, generals and just another Citadel Guard unit. Just defending like the final cap point, just in case they get there. Just in case something magically went wrong. 
It looks like the walls are being well forced over now. Um, they've actually, like, the Orcs are kind of getting sandwiched because they've, like, split this this one unit in half. And these uh, Ringo Vale men-at-arms are just, like, desperately holding on because this trebuchet is still firing. The crew's just like, prepare, prepare, we must fire. I don't know what they're firing at. I think they've been firing at all the stuff back there, the reserves. But, I mean, I feel like this officer's kind of in the way. He's, uh, if that, like, they give the order to go... He's uh, g going up with it. He's like very close to the rope. Get snagged around it, and he'd go flying off with them. Yeah, those Ringo Veil men at arms seem like they're going to hold for a while. The ones on here don't like they've been holding very well because they send him some gondol spears here. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like uh, the orcs are getting through here anytime soon, though. Now that these gondol infantry are here or gondol spears are here. They're all the way up, they've like fought all the way up here, that's insane. Forget how good Gondor is sometimes, especially against Mordor. Gondor's just gonna wreck lives against Mordor. Mordor could do with maybe like one or two really elite like sword units. I, I know the Uruks are there, but like maybe like, a, I don't know. I think Nazgul was mentioned in being added one day. Um, obviously like when trolls arrive, that'll be a really big bonus to them. Cause like I've heard that like, Trolls will take down three fountain guard and they'll die in the third one. Or like take down two and die in the third fountain guard. So I mean, most armies don't have three fountain guard in them. Most Gondor armies don't have three fountain guard, but you can't afford it. So I mean, that's going to make it really hard to fight trolls. Like, especially like Gondor infantry. I'm sure spears, I'm sure Gondor spears would do the job. But uh, maybe not as well. So you might need more. You might meet, need some, like, five Gondor Spears. I don't know. I'm making that figure up. But it does look really exciting to see uh, when trolls do arrive. You can see here, like, all these archers really the expended their ammo. They're just focusing down these Uruk archers, which you've got, like, to fire over a huge wall and then hit stuff in behind. I mean, they are hitting these Blackroot Vale, actually. But, uh, barely. Barely. And then, uh, you've got, like, Ur these Uruk archers here are already, like, Getting like every time that like a volley comes in, a couple more of them like get da killed off. I was about to say get died. That's just poor English, poor poor English. And uh, I mean these guys are uh, moving forward. These uh, Uruk spears look like they're going to set in a huge wave here. You've got a uh, a weird formation going on here. But this is the uh, this is the Haradrim here. They are like sort of representing the Mumma kill, which obviously are supposed to also be added to the game at some point. The Mumma kill. But uh, we don't have Momokil yet. I think they're a bit further off than Trolls. But um, yeah, so when we get them, that'll be even better for a rise, uh, for like a Minas Tirith siege. And um, these like militia up here are breaking, but they've actually not broken. There is actually some action of Loznarch in there. And they are like being holding up this tower forever. They just won't die. Um, and I know from personal experience that that unit gets a lot of kills. It's like, I mean, actually, I say it's like not won't die it's pretty fresh but they're yeah they're trying to go up here they're trying to fight and uh for this choke for this tower here almost and uh, yeah the uruk throng do their best to hold them hold them back and more uruks coming off the wall here these uh militia are actually still holding that's kind of impressive very impressive especially against uruks uruks being at the moment the best sword infantry that they have available to them I'm just keeping an eye on whether uh, Rohan's going to move out because it'll be interesting to see when they do. Um, I think I'll know because the like the Theoden does like the shields will be broken, sort of thing. Uh, shields will be shaken. It's a sword day. But we'll get to that bit. I'll do the speech later. Hopefully, don't get copyrighted for it. I mean, if I get copyrighted for it. Then I'll kind of be honoured because that means my my acting's that good. But yeah, don't help the wounded, as they were saying there. Fight, fight. I just realised that the orc warriors have almost like they have really short swords. They look like almost like daggers, almost. I mean, maybe a da might be a dagger for a man or an elf. But uh, probably a, a full-size sword for a uh, for an orc. Those small boys 
Uh, these militias still holding here. Militia are actually still holding in some areas, which is kind of insane. I mean, they actually, in fairness, if you see that that um, that orc warrior unit there is getting so much support from uh, these Athelian rangers here, which are actually prefer getting focused on themselves. Oh, the orcs are off the wall. The orcs are into the street. Excellent. Gondor soldiers now having to fight them out here. I think they killed quite a few uh, rangers, did these orcs. They caught, uh, yeah, this unit here of rangers, they killed quite a lot of them. Before they uh, got realized what they were doing. But yeah, these orc warriors like losing decisively. And they have three bronze chevrons, and they still can't beat uh, the Gondor infantry. And there you go. There we go. It's happening. Theoden's doing a speech. I can't actually remember what it is. It's basically like shields will be broken. No, shields will be shaken. Spears will be broken. It's a sword day. A sword day. And the sun is rising. And it is. It's, it is basically. And then they like do loads of music. But yes. And then obviously like you like Eowyn like hides a face when he comes riding past. It looks glorious though. You can see all the, all the lines of Rohirrim. And the white city to his left. I don't think they said that. I don't think they said anything like that in uh, the film. I, I, I hate to say it. That was probably like the uh, the less PG version of the film. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it looks like Rohan is getting ready to go. Rohan is getting ready to go. And uh, I did give them a little bit of notice. Um, because obviously like, the orcs did form up some sort of thing. So they have got some spear lines being formed. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they'd be just being charged back. But this one's actually looking the wrong way. We should charge that one, if possible. But uh, I don't know if they're forming up over here. But yes, they've got cavalry ready. But here comes Rohan. Rohan is getting ready to charge. And then you need just need the uh, the music in there, but that will be very very copyrighted. And you can see out there just the dark masses of the Mordor hordes left. And he's going to charge into that front line by the looks of it. I don't know if uh, Theoden will go in. We are with the, we are with the uh, Rohan bodyguards. I don't think he's going to charge in first anyway. But you can see there's most of the forces going off that way. There is a small force dedicated to deal with this uh, attack here. We've got the, arc, the mounted shield archers here. We've got various other stuff. Uh, various other like Royal Edoran Lancers. Let's ride with them. Ride with the Royal Edoran Lancers. Into battle. And glory. They need to start doing the charge now. I think they're going to do like a trample. And yeah, here we go. These poor guys. The orcs like, pikes forward, archers behind. Oh, jeez. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, it was a slightly, uh, a little bit jittery though. Could have been smoother. Um, but it does look good. It does still look good. Oh, glorious. And you can see here the next like wave is getting ready. Look at this box they formed. They are that scared. I don't think they formed that in the movies, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that is pretty damn, pretty damn effective. They've got a uh, Morgul Legion in here. They've got Uruk spears. Yeah, these guys are uh, not getting through. The, like the uh, Rohirrim will not be attacking that. But they've left all their archers available, so we're going to kill them. And they've left their artillery, um, so I'm sure we can go and get that. And we're already in behind this formation. This is really good. Taking down pillagers over here. Rohan is now able to do his do their bit. Come fight for Gondor. For Gondor. Where was Gondor where the Westfold Westfold fell? Dunno. Probably in Gondor. I'm sure I'd like to believe that uh Theoden would have asked that to like some Gondorian if he survived. If he had survived like the battle, he'd like, just asked someone in Gondor, for whatever official was left, since he yeah, don't have Denethor. I guess it'd be Aragorn. Aragorn kind of becomes king soon after the battle. But yeah, these guys are like chopping. These are border scouts, most of these guys in here. And they're chopping down these uh, Uruk archers. Shows how like god awful they are in combat. But they do have to deal with the Servants of the Eye, which are, we're kind of seeing like the, the Nazgul, or, like the Servants of the Eye. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's, it's ever so slightly a bit jittery. Oh my god, they're just firing their artillery at like the uh, like close range. Yeah, they're firing artillery at like close range horsemen. That's a bit risky. 
Oh my gosh, this is going to be a huge, huge charge. You can just see as like all the cavalry comes in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's glorious. It's glorious. Certainly the frames have dropped ever so slightly when the Rohirrim started moving around. I won't lie. Um, but it does look still look good. So yeah, the Haradrim here. I mean, they're not got the greatest of uh, cavalry, so they probably will lose. But the submod cavalry, uh, the submod Rohan, is not as strong as it probably should be either. So, uh, and I'm microing with all the cavalry, so that's never a good. That's never a good sign. I'm okay with about four or five units, but not when I have a whole twenty stack of cavalry. And uh, yeah, you're gonna start to see. Certainly, this force here, you start to see that. Uh, it, it misses out on its micro. I'd certainly do a lot more micro over here, just trying to get in behind, do stuff like that. And uh, I mean, we're doing quite effective stuff over here. We're actually breaking a lot of these, uh, or well, these Eric spears you can see here, losing. But yeah, I'm fighting like unit after unit of spears. And uh, the Orc player on this side is very, very smart. He decides not to like charge forward with his Eurks. He just holds the line. And uh, yeah, it's not painful. It's very painful for the uh, cavalry in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Poor Rohirrim, just getting, like, chopped down. But, yeah, so the Sons of the Eye are now, like, helping out. I mean, look at that, a unit of... Well, actually, that's Border Scouts, it's 58. I expect Border Scouts to break of that, but, uh... Yeah, these Sons of the Eye are nasty, so, I mean, they're probably going to chop down a lot of Rohirrim here. Oh, they're going into this one. It looks like the Royal Edler and Lance has sort of won their fight there. And the uh, Sons of the Eye are now, like, re-engaging them. And also, like, the Haradrim infantry's in here. Imagine if we did have Mummer kill. That would be amazing. And that was another thing I was saying, I think, in the battle. I think Mordor could do with maybe, like, an infantry unit that's, uh, like, why I did say, like, another strong in uh, infantry unit so they can have that as a general. I think that's what I should, um, should have added. So they could have another general. Because I think every single Mordor army having Servants of the Eye, especially when you're trying to do scenarios, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Because then that's just, in this case, three really tanky units um, that they've like then acquired when they probably shouldn't have them. Maybe one could have like the tanky Servants of the Eye, like representing like the Witch King. But uh, yeah, we've got, we've got one too many here. One too many Servants of the Eye. But um, but yeah, I mean, maybe when Rohan gets its uh, stronger, stronger units, they'll be actually able to face Servants of the Eye. Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. I mean, you can see over here we've been charging into this. We charged into the rear of the, the halberds, but I think they turned at the last moment. And uh, yeah, these are Eastmark heavy riders. Oh no, these are uh, a different unit. These are Oathman lancers, and they are uh, they're struggling. They're struggling. Put it like that. Oh, poor guy just chopped down. Oh, look at that guy. He has like two swords out. Is that like the Morgul Legion like officer or something like that? He's like awesome. Didn't even realize. But yeah, like Pelagian Marines came outside to help. Uh, they were like, yeah, we just kind of want to come out and help uh, you with your like stuff going on. We have so many reserves. It's so like, yeah, sure, send out some troops. Um, and I mean, we have to done a lot of damage to them, but at this point, Rohan's already losing a lot of his troops, certainly over here. The charge kind of like, we went into the charge and then infantry came up to support, um, which I mean, it was only Haradrim infantry, but uh, it was more the sums of the eye, I think, but I mean, we've got Uruk here that are helping, that's just like, so we're getting pinned between Uruk spears and Haradrim, really we should have pulled out, I think we're just about to here, yeah, we're going to pull out of combat um, and try and avoid this. But uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's painful. Royal Ed Edwin Rance, Lance is here. I mean, we just got caught there by the uh, Haradrim as they came in. And we're wavering as, as well. Oh, it's painful to see so many Rohirrim break. But over on this side, we're having a lot more success. I should have just gone with my entire army on one bit and then moved along. But it's, uh... But we wanted cinematic. And, uh, yeah, when we were doing the charge, we actually had the, uh, like, the charge of the Rohirrim music playing. It was very glorious. Sadly, I can't play it for you today. Because uh, it'll get copyrighted. <laughs> but yes, these are Rohirrim are doing their best. I mean, we'll keep an eye on Gondor now. 
We've had a, look, a good look at uh, Rohan, but I mean, you can see here most of the Orcs have been pushed out. There's a bit of uh, defiance going on over on this side, but I mean, Gondor's had a, a pretty easy time of it. They have... Uh, they've not had to worry too much. It's um, certainly, I think, if we were going to do it, like, you really want to bring a lot of, like, Gondor infantry, because that's what was there. It was, like, a, a load of Gondor infantry. But we should give them maybe next time if we're going to do it, maybe some lower tier units, make it a little bit harder. But Minas Tirith also is just such a hard uh, battle to, like, reproduce in Total War because it's just so easy to defend um, as a defender. It's just got narrow passageways, like... Once you like lose the first layer, but even if you like losing the first layer, there aren't actually many walls you can attack. Certainly on this map, um, I have heard that they were going to make their own. Like this is like a, um, like a. There you go. Theoden has died. I should have mentioned. Yeah, he charged into servants of the eye here. Sorry, I'll come back to my comment on that. He charged into servants of the eye, and he uh, he died. So that's kind of appropriate because he got dies uh, in the movie to like the Witch King and the Felby. So he dies to uh, a Nazgul here. You could say. Yeah, his bodyguard will go on fighting, but there's not many of them left. And Rohan, at this point, is almost uh, really defeated. But what I was saying is that Minas Tirith is like... It's, this map's not great because there's uh, not many walls you can attack. They, uh, they, uh, d they're all, Some of them are a bit buggy. Um, so, you, obviously, then you're left with the non-buggy walls. And there aren't as many of them as there are, uh, like, well basically just limits your options where you can attack. So they need to like really expand Minas Tirith, make it larger so it's a, like, more of a wall. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's like more walls. So you need to like have that coming out a bit further. And um, I don't know, um, it's, like it's great having it go really high like this, it's awesome. But uh, it's also, it's just a bit awful for the camera and it slows the game down. It slows the game because it's just so much, it's got to like the game's just got to render and like deal with and uh, yeah at this point I just came I was down to this one mounted shield archer and I was just like I will become the Huns if I have to and I will shoot you from range and they just were staying in square formation I was like this is perfect I'll just shoot them from here um, and no one seemed to pay attention to this unit that's was just firing arrows at them I think uh, the servants of the eye are coming over now oh my gosh I think that's something that was like rapid fire it's like a uh, what I just did it actually killed quite a few I think yeah, you can see now the servants of the eye are coming over. They spotted us, and that's the end of the Rohirrim. So yeah, the Rohirrim actually kind of get wiped out in this. I mean, they sort of get wiped out in the Battle of uh, Pelennil, Pelennil Fields by the uh, Mummocks. There are some left for the Black Gate, I guess. And uh, here we go, a final charge. Oh, yeah. We uh, we got brutalized there. The Rohirrim did not survive well there. And, uh, yeah, they, they won't be turning up for the Battle of uh, the Black Gate because they'll all be dead. Um, in this in this scenario, anyway, they're all dead. There's none left. theoden has gone. eomer has gone. Even Eowyn's dead, probably. Mary's dead. Um, but, yeah, so... Yes, I think, uh, basically, all in all, I think the Minas Tirith map, if it's going to be done uh, by the main mod or whoever... They said that there was going to be one made. That it it needs to be... They said it was going to be one of the longest to take doing, I think, from what I've heard from someone in the mod team. Um, but yeah, it certainly needs... There's certainly some improvements that could be done to make it better. So it's just possible for the like attacker, even if it's not orcs, to win. I think even, like, give it to elves or to dwarves, they still struggle in attacking this settlement. You could even, like, defend with, like... Dol Guldur, who has like really poor archers. Um, they've got really strong infantry, they, and you just you just eventually defend all the way up here, and you just you they'll be fine. Basically, there's no need to. Uh, you like you can hold this lower section with like mineral troops, and then go up if you need to. But uh, yeah, I mean you can see I uh, Axemen of Losnarch and some Gondor swords doing their best. Got some Gondor swords sort of in combat, uh, sort of in a shield wall. Don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, here you go. I think it's these Axemen of Loznarch. They've just, like, finally died on the wall. I know, they're still in there. They are still in there fighting. You can see right at the back, there's a few of them. Still fighting away. Still fighting their hearts out. And, uh, yeah, they get a lot of kills, like I said earlier in the video. And, uh, I will be interested to see how many it is.
I have actually got the uh, the like full amount of kills for some of the uh, for for the armies because some of the players wanted to know how, like how many they had, so someone actually went and actually added them all up. So uh, thank you for doing that, um, for adding them all the skills up. But yeah, some people wanted to know. I feel bad if you were like wanting to know and you're a Mordor player though, because uh, Mordor has not had a fun time today. They really needed trolls, they needed Grond. Imagine if you could have Grond added in. Um, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, this is one of the last few areas of conflict. I mean, there's a bit over here by the uh, by the breach as well. The Haradrim are finally coming on their side, but these Haradrim are just awful. Uh, they got no shields, so they uh, they don't do well in blocking stuff. They are merely uh, like meat shields, like you something you'd use early game just to like take and soak up fire. And yeah, they're trying to fight through this like solid wall of uh, spears and swords here. There's no way they're getting through. I mean, they are actually uh, they're sort of like pull they're not pulling through, but they found a little gap here. And uh, yeah, they're just getting uh, mauled now by Gondor swords. I mean, yeah, you can see that. Look at this. They're just getting. They are trying to they're escaping. Like, yes, we're inside the city. We've done it. We made it. But uh, at what cost? At what cost? Look at these Ringlow Vale men at arms. They've been fighting on the wall. They've survived the entire conflict on this wall. They've killed so many men. Actually, I don't think they had to fight many more after the first wave. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the servants of the eye are left. I think they're going to dis... I know... I think a few of them dismount and go in. Um, mainly because... Why charge in? Uh, this solid line of spears and swords waiting for you here. Like, look at that. That looks glorious. But it does look like Gondor is going to win today. I mean, it's Gondor really winning. It's not... Rohan did its bit, but... Uh, I think Gondor would have had this anyway. Would have won this with or without Rohan being here. So if you got this far in the video, then thank you and uh, well done. It's been an excellent, excellent uh, battle. It's, uh, I'm glad that we finally did Minas Tirith. I mean, I've, I've also got a uh, Black Gate replay that uh, I'd be happy to show you guys. It's That's quite interesting. That's quite fun. Um... So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. I'm uh, always happy to share more Rise of Mordor with you guys. I know you really enjoy it. And, uh, well, we're just waiting on the next update, really, to get fresh stuff. Because uh, we've kind of covered everything in this current, this current version of Rise of Mordor. And yeah, there you go. These uh, orcs are getting sandwiched now. These Uruk throng sandwiched. And uh, I mean, they've got more stuff coming off the wall still. They've still got so much here. There is still a little bit of time left in this. But unless uh, Mordor can pe uh, pull off some sort of a miracle. I don't think he's getting through because look, they've got all like this fountain guards still up here, citadel guards. It's insane what they've got left. Um, it's very. I mean, look at these guys. These uh, Black Ring Vale archers here are winning against Haradrim. I think uh, this was uh, one of the complaints, well, not complaints, but like one of the um, mortal players. Out this has realised how sh awful these guys are. It was, he was shocked. Um, I mean, Black Root, Black Root Vale archers are not poor archers, to be honest. They They've put up a good fight, but um, yeah, I don't know whether, I think they were being supported by archers at one point, I don't know if they are now, but yeah, these uh, these Haradrim just are uh, not very good. I mean, they've also um, probably sustained casualties before they even come to combat, so probably had something to do with it. Uh, more Haradrim coming in here. They've got lots of uh, Morgul Legion around here. They be better bringing that round here to attack uh, through this choke point. Putting them onto the walls is uh, not the greatest of ideas because there's a halberd unit. So then you've got to get them like onto the walls, then uh, into formation somehow. And I don't think Gondor's really in the uh, 
at the point of talking about formations. As you can see here, Gondor is uh, just chopping down Urux. Their units rallied. Well, I mean, I don't think it's going to make the end of the be the end of the world unless it's unless all of a sudden trolls have appeared. They should be okay. Look at that a sea of Haradrim. Oh God! And one poor guy just sniped by an archer tower. And yeah, I mean, that's another thing. The Archtowers are still persistent. These guys have still been held. Um, I mean, the Battle of the Gate was pretty pretty pitiful in the case of Mordor. I don't think they sent anything better than Rabble through here. And I mean, why would you? There is literally no reason to send anything else through. I mean, they might be about to send some stuff through here. There's a charge here going off by... Uh, the ch charging down some Athelian Rangers that came outside. And uh, they should break them. I think they nearly broke... Uh, they nearly broke one of these Haradrim uh, cavalry units, but uh, it wasn't to be. And now they're going to charge into the spears in here, I think. This can only end poorly. No? Yes? Yeah, here they come. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. At this point, Mordor was like, well, the game's up. Let's just charge everything in. I think they gained the upper hand a little bit earlier than this at Gondor, but uh, thank you, man. Who's telling us? And uh, yeah, there you go. These her, uh, these Haradrim have been pushed out, and I was just kind of left with the uh, servants of the eye doing their bit. You've got a bunch of stuff in here that is just trapped by Gondor troops. And then you got certain some servants of the eye have actually dismounted, and we've got some that are still mounted. But Nazgul, as we're trying to, as we're calling them in this scenario, just coming on around. Imagine if there was this many Nazgul, that'd be scary. Like like 50 Nazgul, it'd be like that'd be a game changer. Nine was bad enough. Yeah, they're gonna go after these archers here, and uh, yeah, they're gonna be in for a rough, a rough. I don't know. That's gonna, it's gonna be nasty. But I like that. Oh God. Yeah, look at that. They just like, I don't know what that was. That was like all the no noise of them getting knocked over. Was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. It was like, jeez. But yeah, they're actually getting surrounded by archers now. And uh, they didn't actually kill that many. I mean, they killed a fair few. But they're now sitting in spears. Yeah, these guys are actually wavering. They are wavering. And they're going to try and get out of this. They might. They might get out of it. They are so surrounded, though. And there you go. I mean, yeah, that that one's broken. Uh, I think there is a few others, like a few of the servants of the eye. I don't know if that one's dismounted. There is a mounted one still lying around somewhere. There he is, over there. Um, I mean. Yeah, Gondor's got too much left. Gondor has literally got too much. They have uh, killed nearly 10,000. They have killed about 10,000 men. And they've lost about 4,000 themselves. So that shows like the odds. They'd have to lose. They need another. They've got about 4,000 left. They need another 10,000 orcs to arrive. Um, and also, that's. I've. I was to say, most of those losses, probably. A good portion of those losses are actually Gondor. Uh, not Gondor. Rohirrim. Um. Because Rohan's lost an entire army. Probably about a thousand of those losses. Maybe a little bit more. Or actually Rohirrim. Yeah, they're all pinned in like here. You see the sea of orcs. I think uh, the Axemen up here have finally been... Yeah, the Axemen up there finally died. A sad sight. And yeah, here comes like the final general. So I'm just going to spe uh, speed up now for the sake of the video. No need to uh, see well, what really happens here. We'll just speed up. 
And yeah, you can see another general already wavering here. And he's uh, just rallied himself. But uh, yeah, I mean, a huge chain route there um, going on. I mean, it's not going to be look much longer until uh, Mordor's basically bit, uh, seen the, the end of its days here. And it's going to have to go back and defend the Black Gate. Sons of the Eye. Going to sneak through again. Definitely a bit more of a, than a sneak through, more of a pull through. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. The battle's won. Uh, I would certainly be a bit more annoyed at that if it was uh, like, uh, later, like earlier in the battle. And it was hard to tell. I mean, if they're sending the general in earlier, though, then maybe I wouldn't complain. Yeah, they're just running down arches at this point. Or trying to. I think they're trying to get through to this uh, combat over here. They want to route this. Give themselves a slighter chance. But you can see, yeah, more Legion here. I don't know how many kills they've got, but they, I bet they didn't set up properly. Or weren't able to set up properly. And, I mean, it looks like we're going to have a charge from the uh, Servants of the Eye in a moment. Oh no, they're going to charge back into uh, archers, it seems. And into spears. We're also charging, in fairness. Um, yeah. Causing havoc here. Causing havoc. Oh, that's going to be painful for the infantry. Oh, yeah. Charging into a uh, cavalry when cavalry's charging. Never a good idea. You'll lose a lot of men. Lose a lot of men. And, uh, I mean, they're losing decisively with the cavalry. The cavalry's losing decisively because they keep pulling through units that it's uh, in combat with. Yeah, here we go. They're going to go for a charge here. Oh, of course we're at the back. Oh, there we go. Got ever so quickly to the front at the very, at the very last second. Like got to the front, quick, quick, quick. Want to see this glorious charge? But I think they actually are routing some stuff or causing stuff to waver. It's just militia though, nothing exciting. Um, but yeah, I mean that is kind of going to wrap up the battle. I mean they've got ever so slightly. They've got forces in here. I mean this unit's now surrounded. Uh, so we'll just fast forward. There you go. Enemy general is dead. Yeah, this one here has died. He's pulled through one too many units. And uh, I'm sure that'll cause a chain route. I don't know if he's actually got an army left. Thought he had most of the army that was pinned in here. But we'll see. Um, it's fast forwarding. And we'll see what the end results are in a moment. But I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then uh, like I said, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here. And a comment. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is Battle of Serif. Like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, it's not as, I think it's Minas Tirith as itself as a map needs work. Um, to make it even better like I think you need more space certainly like this area around here is so thin and so hard to uh, work with if you're attacking and uh, like these next layers like up uh, well they're, they're just choke point after choke point um, and unless you've got like trolls it's not going to make it very uh, difficult because you just put fountain guard in there and uh, citadel guard and they'll hold forever if you're playing as Gondor, or just any pike unit, or any spear unit, they'll hold for a long time. An elite spear unit, an elite pike unit, they'll hold for ages in there. And uh, yeah, there you go. Stuff breaking really, really quickly. And yeah, that's all gone. It's just down to, like, here. I think it, this stuff just keeps rallying and breaking. So, well, yeah, there you go. You can see it's, rally it's breaking. And then it's going to rally in a moment when the general comes by. And they're like, yes, our general's here. We have hope. Yeah, look at that. Fools! Just break. You can see a sea of Gondor troops coming out. Literally, everything's just been given the order to attack. And yeah, that's kind of it. That is basically it. I mean, uh, these servants of the... I don't actually know if they've lost this general yet, but uh, he's going to die now. Because he's an absolute mad lad and charged back in here. Yeah, everyone's celebrating. Yes, you won. Okay, well done. At what cost, though? Rohan died. Rohan's dead. There's literally no men left in Rohan now. Gondor can go and reconquer it if they want to. But there you go. A Pyrrhic victory for the forces of Gondor and Rohan. Or just the forces of men. So we'll end the replay and look at the end results. Um, yeah, I was playing as the Rohan army. And uh, yeah, I definitely could have done better. But uh, it was quite interesting. Um, but yeah, we'll look at like some of the kills, like Heads here, um, playing as the Gondor army, getting 449 kills with his, some of his infantry, and then getting 451. His Gondor archers, 520. Um, and then like his Pelago marines doing well as well, on, like 294. Aiden, who was uh, playing as um, the other Gondor army, getting 344 with his uh, swords there. 
His Axeman of Loznarch, the one that was stuck in the tower, getting 491 kills. And his Blackroot Veil Arch is 647. That's insane. There's some other really good scores there if you have a look at them. And me playing as Rohan, I didn't do as well. Uh, but interestingly, like my Rohirrim Border Scout was getting some of my best kills. 233, 207. My Eastmark, he Eastmark uh, Heavy Rider is getting 192. Uh, my Rohan Horseman getting 136. Yeah, like my Riddermark Lancers here did awful in comparison. Um, so did my Oathman Lancers here. And then my Royal Edoran Lance is only getting 181. And my uh, Mounted Shield Arch is getting a uh, maximum of 69 kills. And Theoden getting only 72. So, I mean, yeah, I did not do as well as possible. But like Heads, for instance, got 3,313 kills, apparently. Uh, Aiden got 4,100. And myself getting just shy of 2,000 with uh, 1,942 kills. So, um, but yeah, it was really, really hard uh, to micro that amount of troops, but uh, or that amount of, amount of cavalry, put it like that. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. But yeah, then we got Cool Breeze, who's playing as one of the Mordor armies with like the uh, Haradrim reinforcements. His general getting 155 kills. Um, his Haradrim surprisingly actually getting 98 kills, which is not too bad for them. Um, yeah, none of his orcs did like massively that well. His uh, Uruk Arch is here getting 275 kills, though, which is good, and um. His cavalry, the best, getting 88 kills. Um, second breakfast, uh, who's playing as like the the main like Mordor army in the center with like the rabble going up to just supposed to ram up. Uh, Seventh the eye getting 112. Um, Uruk Throng getting 118, 157, 180 actually. That's pretty good. Uh, his pillage is getting 113, and his Uruk Spear is getting 166, and his archers getting 100 kills dead. Then we got Mythic Eat. Who was playing as uh, the other Mordor army, getting 280 um, and 118 kills with his uh, or Orc Warriors is pretty good. Um, and then his, uh, I think his Orc Spear is doing 102 is okay as well. His Pillagers did actually better than Second Breakfast, is getting 161. His Morgul Legion definitely could have used, uh, like, going through choke points a little bit, I think would have been better than coming over the walls, but 98 kills is not too shabby at the end of the battle when they got committed. And his. Uh, Orc Rabble doing pretty poor, but that's no surprise because they're mere Orc Rabble. But then the general, like the actual main amount of kills that they got, like Cool Breeze got 1,321. Uh, then uh, Second Breakfast got 1,543, which is not too bad. That's the best out of any of them. And then Mythic gained 1,431. So, I mean, they didn't do poorly. They actually nearly caught up with the amount of kills that I got, which is slightly embarrassing, but... Uh, yeah, they didn't do too poorly. But that is the battle or the siege of Minas Tirith. And uh, if you enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment. If you'd like to see any new um, Rise of Mortal scenarios, let me know in the comments. I would be uh, happy to do just about any of them. Um, and until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.